morning to you all. I want to welcome you to today's worship. And this is Zana Community Church. Right here at the outskirts of Kampala. Kampala. And before we go any further, we want to call your attention that you worship with us. And I want you to turn to Psalm 32. And we are going to read just a few verses. This is what the psalmist says. Blessed is the one whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man against whom the Lord counts no iniquity and in whose spirit there is no deceit. Many of us love blessings. And even if I was to ask you to start, you know, mentioning your blessings, many of us would be pointing to these physical blessings. But there are some other blessings that outweigh all these blessings. And that is the blessedness of being forgiven. Are you forgiven this morning? You are one of the most Blessed person. I also seen covered in the blood of Jesus Christ. And if your sins are covered in the blood of Jesus Christ. You are most blessed. Are you blessed that God no longer, no longer counts? On you, all the iniquities you did. Are you blessed? You are blessed. And if you are blessed, I want you to join us in a word of prayer. And even if you don't have those blessings, these blessings can be yours even today. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this day. This is a day of your own making. Thank you for blessing us to be here. And we are here because we are blessed in the Lord. That our sins are forgiven. That Jesus sacrificed for us, giving Himself for us. Suffering, was tortured, was crucified. He died. He was buried. But on the third day, He rose again. And that is a sign. That is the proof that all our sins are forgiven. Because the work he did on the cross was justified by God raising him from the dead. May we find comfort in that. Comfort and comfort to our souls. That Jesus is ours. And we are his. We thank you. In his name we pray. Amen. Amen.
Welcome, welcome, welcome once again to this part of worship. We're going to worship our God and praise and sing and dance for him. So I will request you to stand on your feet and we sing with this first song that says, Amazing Grace. Neunya echisa chamu kama echando kola echampulo wedembe. Hallelujah. Amen. So we will be to you in the world. We will be sing. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amen.
Hallelujah. I'm gonna sing and say that Jesus is mine. Tell your neighbor, Jesus is mine. Jesus is mine. Say forever and ever. Jesus is mine. Amen. that Jesus is mine forevermore. Jesus is mine, he's mine, he's mine forevermore. Jesus is mine, he's mine, he's mine forevermore. Jesus is mine, come on, stay. Jesus is mine.
Temoli Chitange tuvu nama oluna kuruwale rumu masogo Okue chitiwa Ogwani de chitiwa netendo Ogwani dobu yinza na amani Gwe katonda amani gafe Katonda oruazi rafe Tukuyimusa okusinga ebi ntuyona Tukugurumiza okusinga amagezi gafe Tukugulumiza okusinga okubuivu wa fe, okusinga okumanya kwa fe. Osani de chitiwa netendo, gwe katonda atajuru kuka, gwe munye nye ya kakuncha, gwe chitiwa chama wanga, gwe katonda bezawo ele ya tonde bintu vyona. Gwe katonda tuwa omuka ugobulamu, katonda ya tuagala na tulokola mwana wa yesu. Tukusinza kaba 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 ka Tukwe chitiwa netendo rechilabe choholo kozi Tukwe baza katona folo kutuwa gala notu sasra Tukuyimu soku singa bio nensi vietu nulila Tukuyimu soku singa feza nezabu O singa obugurumi venso zempamvu O singa amanya ba amanyi monseno O singa bitu kabia mazigo bu yinza na amanyi O singa bitu somo zabio nobu yinza O singa wa fuza bense na mani netendo Tukugulumiza katona fe Tawali no mwainza gila gila nyizu wanawe Tawali kwe tu inza kugila gila nyana ye Tawali ya inza kwenka na katona fe Oli katonda rwane ntaloza fenozu wangula Oli katonda muonya Awonye nduadeza fe Oli katonda gabila gabila Evidie vye tago vya fe Oli katonda razi wa fe Roblo kozi wa fe Tukue chiti wa netendo kabaka 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 Tukugulumiza Tukugulu mizo kusinga Bio na bio na katona fe O singe bitu somoza O singe bitu kabia O singe nduwa deza famanyi Chetufa tuja joli encharelo Na tukwa tulanti gwe katonda Gwe katonda tachuka Gwe ndinga gwe ndi Gwe yali elali ve mire mbejo Na tukugulu mizo luna kuruwarelo Tukwe chitibwa netendo Ngabana buba kusinza Ngabana buba kuyimbila Ngabana buba wayo Ngabana buba sechimu Mukukunga na ngaboru ganda Tata tukugulumizo kusinga biona Bewewe chitiwa Belango gulumizwa Belango imusiwa masekati gaba ntubo Ngechigambo chochibu lirwa Aimu kama wabakama Chamba zamanyi okulokola Chamba zamanyi okulete subi Chamba zamanyi okuleta Okuonye zewa Okuleta obu wanguzi Okuyimu saba wadeba nafuye Abadeba wedemu okukiriza Ngonyezo okukiriza kwa we mulinye liyamu kama fe yesu Tukweba za katona fe Uruaba wele zabo mukama bole So na kuruwarelo Uruomu duo mukama gendo kutue chigambo Chukatona wange Tata muonga munda gane yomu saigo Umuambazo uvumu Umuambaza amanyi Umuambaze chisa Nga yogila jetuli mukama Tulide dobo zilio ai mukama So se dobo zilio katona fe Yogile liye mitimaja fe Yogile liyo bulambo fe Yogile liya makaga fe Yogile liya abana ba fe Yogile li biznesi za fe Aba ntubonga batabudua Naba wede mwe subi Emini munga jiba guwako Aba langaba ruwade mukama aba kama Bele chokubuda abuda jebali Belo kubela jebali Babele ai mukama Baze muamanyi Bawe subi Basumulule Mkuvelibu Bionebiba debiba subie Mulinyari ya mukama feyesu 
Tu sabina na baba tana kumanya, baba tana loko kamu kama, ge chigambo cho chibu diroa, le kachivalu mi dzorwe chibi no musango, chivale te joli mukweni ya. Tu kuwe chibu ane te biokola, tu kuwe chibu na matendo, orabo sumulura, orabo boyamba mori ya yes, gulumi na kuwaliro, ngapana baba kumanya, ngapana baba kusinza, ngapana baba wayo, le kabioni bi tu kula bi Dichitiwa magez gafe Temuli chitiwa mani gafe Kwenye miliza kwa fe kwa nakuli mugwe mukama Tukwe chitiwa netendo kubango sani de Gulumizi wano nakuluwale Lulabisi wa matendo gabantubo Lulabisi wa mkusi nza kwa na Muli nyeri ya mutabani wa mwagaro Yesu Christo mukama fe Mwetu sabide Habana baka tonda bo na Leba imu sedo bozi ya bo mkukiliza nga baga mbanti Amina. Weba linyo Yesu. Weba linyo Mukama. Amina. What a privilege again to hear God's word. Nga cha mkisanate okuli lechigambo cha katonda. This morning I want to welcome you to the reading of God's word. That we are reading from Isaiah chapter 40. From verse 9 through verse 20. And this is message number two on God comforting his people. Let me ask my brother to read. As you follow in your own translation. Isaiah, Amakumiana, Olunidi, Luamwenda, Oktuka Kuluabidi. Chigamu Chakatunda Chisuma Wichiti. Gwe. Aboli la sayuni ebigambe birunji, weli nyire kulusozi oluwamvu, gwe aboli la yerusalemi ebigambe birunji, imuse dobozi dio na amanyi, li imuse totia katonda wa mwe. Totia gambe bivuga biya yudanti laba katonda wa mwe. Laba mukama katonda alija ngo wa amanyi no mukono gwe guli mufugira Laba empera ye edina ye no kusasula kwe kuli mumasoge. Alili sa echisiboche ngomusumba ngomusumba. Ali kunganya abana bendiga mumukono gwe na abasitula mchifubache. Ali itiriza mpola ezo ezions. Ali itiriza mpola ezo eziyonsa. Ani eyali agenze. Ani eali, ani eali age, ageze amazi mchibatuche na pima egulu na oluta. Na gata enfufu eyo kunsi mchigera. Na pima ensozi muminzani na obusozi mubipima. Ani eyalunga miza omoyo guamu kama, omoyo guamu kama oba Eya muwelele bigambo na muyigiriza. Ani gweyali atesaza na ye ebigambo. Elani eyali amuyigiriza na mutegeza kukubo. Kukubo elio musango na munyonyola okumanya. Na mulaga ekubo elio kutegera. Laba mawanga galinge tondo elili monsua. Elaba balibu wanga efufuge elili muminzani. Laba asitulebi zinga. Nge chintu e chitono enyo. Nele banoni, tamala kuba nku. So, nensoro za, nensoro za ko, za ko, tezimala kuba e chuwe wayo, e choke wa. Ama wanga gona, gali inga si chintu mumasoge. Gabali wa, jali inga si chintu dala, ilanga chiredia. Katon, kale, anigwe muli fana ganya katonda. Oba, echifana, echifana nchi, chemuli mugele lako. Echifana nyechole, 
omukozi achifumba no muwesu wa zabu achibi achibi zabu na achifumbira emikufu ya feza ayinze obwa ayinze obwavu ayinze obwavu no kuyinza na tayinza kirabo echenka nawo yeroboza omuti Oguta livunda ni ye no nyiza omukozi no mugezi gezi okusimba echifana nyi echole echitali jurukuka. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your holy word. It is now our desire that you speak to us. And we know you are going to speak through this week. Amen. Speaking your powerful word. The word that transforms our hearts. The good news to our souls. And here we are ready, oh God. To hear but also to speak. May you speak to us first before to we Saba. even speak to o the rest of the congregation. We do thank you. We Christ Jesus our Christ Lord. Yesu Amen. Amen. We started a series on Isaiah from chapter 40 and onwards. And we began no kwe yongera yo as the second book or part 2 of Isaiah's prophecy. And the last time we were together mulundi gwe twasemba yo we looked at the first 8 verses twatunulire nyiri lyo munana ezasoka where God is telling his prophets ngakatonda agamba banabibe bring a message okuleto bubaka on his behalf kululwe to comfort his people that they ought to clear the way. And that is repentance. But also recommitting themselves to God. And how do you do that? By trusting the word of God. Those verse 8 ended by saying, but the word of our God will stand forever. We want to proceed from there today. And again, we want to encourage you. Take comfort. And this morning it is taking comfort in meditating upon the greatness of God. So we are going to look at comfort. And then we are going to look at the content of this good news that comforts us. And one of it is that God rules. And then secondly, that the Lord is a good shepherd. But also that God is mighty to save. First of all, take comfort. That the Lord rules. So, God tells the prophet here to go and Herod the good news. A Herod is somebody who takes a message and he never changes it. He speaks it as it is. The message is about God is greatness. Or we can say that God is great. So he tells this Herod to tell the people of Israel in the same way he's telling us today, behold your God. Everyone ought to look at God to behold this great God because every comfort we receive must be understood through our 
acknowledgement of who God is. And this message can easily be understood from a New Testament perspective. Because the promise of the Savior, the promise of the great Savior is fulfilled in the New Testament. John the Baptist says, says, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Behold, everyone will look at him. Even in the Old Testament, either Zachariah and the says, Behold, everyone will look at him, the one who was pierced for the sins of the world, the one who was despised, the one who took our iniquities. Behold, this is the Lord. He took away all our sins. He's the Savior. He's the Messiah. He will judge. He will come in power. Not as he came the first time. So if you've been losing hope, first of all, take comfort. The Lord rules. And that is the first content of this message. From verse 10 it says, Behold, the Lord God comes with might and his arm rules for him. He has a powerful arm. And here the writer is using a language that each one of us can understand. But the comfort is God is in control. He has it all in control. All dominion belongs to him. In the same verse he says as he rules his reward word is with him. And his recompense before him. He rules. And again we can understand this much better if we go to the New Testament. You see God is faithful to reward those who have been faithful. But he is also faithful in judging the wicked. So he says, the reward is in my hand. But also my, the recompense is also in my hand. Revelation chapter 22 verse 11 to 12. It says, let the one who does wrong continue to do wrong. Let the vile person continue to be vile. Let the one who does right continue to do right. Let the holy person continue to be holy. Look. Laba. Behold, it's the message. Behold, I am coming soon. My reward is with me. I will give to each person according to what they have done. Take comfort. God rules. Secondly, take comfort. The Lord is a good shepherd. Verse 11. He will tend his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arm. Verse 12. He will carry them in his bosom. And, and gently lead those that are with young. 
By the way, again, this image of a shepherd will be more described in the successive chapters in the book of Isaiah. This shepherd does not simply take care of the sheep. Now, Kakano, but he will take care of the sheep forever. Wabula, o kulabirira kwe eliendi go kufayo kwe eliendi ga kugenda kwe yongere mirembe jona. These are not momentary. O kufayo kwa katonde eliendi gaza sikwa kasera. This chief shepherd, o musumbo no mukuru. As first Peter shows us. Nga Peter the chiso kwa chitu yigiriza. Musule yoku tano niyoro kuna. He gives. His life. I am a pastor. But I'm just an under pastor. I don't give my life to people. Even if I were, I cannot pour all of it. Even if you were to gather all the pastors, none, none. No one would give his life. All his life. All his life. All his life. Praise God. We have a chief shepherd who gives his life for the Even the sheep recognize his voice. When you read carefully here, he gently leads them. They the young one. You see, he's tender. He leads them into green pastures. He, he feeds them with quality food. He doesn't simply, you know, throw food at them. By the way, this is a message of comfort. That's why Isaiah says, Behold your God. He's coming to establish a kingdom. The image here, he gathers the flock. He brings all these weak sheep together. The broken ones. The ones that are sick. The ones that are infected. He feeds. He feeds. He provides rest. 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 And, the Bible, and the Bible says he, he brings them into safe hands. Safe hands. What is entailed here? It is safety. Even John, you know the gospel, the gospel of John Jesus. Chapter 10, verse 28. I know my sheep. And they are secure in my hands. Even in the hands of my father. No one. And none can snatch them out of my hands. They are safe. They are tenderly taken care of. Weak as they are. But they find rest. No wonder Jesus can say. Come ye all. Who are heavy laden. Who are heavy laden. Who are tired. Come to me. And I will give you rest. That is peace. 
Jesus. Mirembe e Take comfort. Njagalo funo kuberwa. God rules. Kubanga katonda fuga. Take comfort. Eraberwa. God is a good shepherd. Kubanga mukama ye musumbo mulunji. Thirdly. E echinyu secho kusatu. Take comfort. Funo kuberwa. The Lord is mighty to save. Oren song anti mukama katonda wa manyo kutulo kola. Hallelujah. Mukama yeba zwe. He's mighty to save. Manyo kulo kola. He's mighty. Wa manyo. The Israelites were losing hope. We are looking at all these nations that we are attacking them. them. Subjugating them. Conquering them. So God speaks through the prophets. Three affirms the people of God. That none of those nations are suffering. You know many times we say we are independent. Uganda is a sovereign UK is a sovereign USA is a sovereign Let me tell you You may be sovereign But there is someone who is sovereign he rules over creation. And even creation. Let us see the image here. From verse 13. There he focuses on creation. Up to verse 16. He says, Who has measured the waters in the hole of his hands? Can you really measure water in your own hands? God says, even all the waters are in my hands. He's not limited. Creation. He did not simply create it. But he rules, he controls it. The questions in this section here he speak the fact that only God is responsible for the work of creation. Listen to some of these questions. Who measured? Who weighs? Who marks off? Who sets the waters in their place? This is the evidence enough. To reaffirm to us what is found in Genesis. That all things we are created by His own hands. Verse 13. Who has measured the spirit of the Lord? I hear people who say they control the spirit of God. Now, now, now. Now, now spirit, I now, command you now move. Now, Mugama, Moyo, Tambula. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Who has measured the spirit of God? Talun, Tala, Gira, Muntu, Ani, Ayapi, Moyo, Wakatonda. He's God. Kuanga, Yea, Katonda. This is where. Beyond what human minds can even comprehend. He does whatever he wants. See verse 14 again. Who did God consult in making creation? Who taught God? For us, we go to school to be taught. How many of us have ever seen God going to a school to be taught? Take comfort. God does not need consultants. No. 
Just within his counsel, he does what he wants. In a nutshell, it seems God is saying to the prophet who is God's advisor or counselor. He knows why he made it. Don't be worried. Of course we get worried. I also get worried. But such a message lifts me. And then move me from worry to trust. It moves me from fear to faith. Listen. God is mighty to save you. To save you from all. What has been taking all your faith away? Listen to what God tells the Israel about the nations that were becoming too strong for them. From verse 15 to 17. Take comfort here. I rule the nation. He rules the nation. From verse 15. Behold, the nations are like a drop from a bucket. And are accounted as the dust on the scales. Uh -huh. hey. <laughs> Israel. Israel. Church. You Christian. Nations Amawanga are like a drop. Mukama Garabanga Tondo Bucket. Mu Nsua. He sees Uganda as a drop. Araba Uganda and get tondo. Bagan yo kututok o kutama kaniso kusin zakatonda. Nations are just a drop. Amawanga garinga tondo. They're just a drop in a bucket. Garinga tondo monsua. Simply put on scales. Elabo gateka kuminzani. It's like putting them on a scale. It's like putting, you know, sugar on a scale, a weighed scale. In the same way God is saying, even Uganda, ne Uganda Judah was such a bad man, I can just put it on scale. When you pima pima wenti. they cannot even outweigh my power. They were so much. Even if you were to put all the nations on one side of the scale, cannot be heavier. Heavier than God. Kusinga katonda. Hallelujah. Mukama yeba zwe. Amen. Mukama yeba zwe. I cannot. Tega sobola kuzitowa. They are too light. Ama wanga ga, ga weuka eri katonda. So God is telling the children of Israel. Mukama gamba bana ba Israeli. Whether Babylon. Oba Babylon. Oba Assyria. Oba Assyria. You name it. Yogela kuma wanga ga kulumbye. None has power. Te wari wachi na mani kusinga mani gaka tonda. Nothing can challenge that. Te wari wachi sabola kusoma zaka tonda. All the kingdoms of the world belong to our God. Buriyeri kufuga kuaka tonda. That's why the Bible says. Bible iche vegamba. My God is the King of of Kings. Mukama katonda wange kabaka wa abakabaka. All power and authority are derived from above. There's a detail here in verse 16. It says, Lebanon would not suffice for fuel. <laughs> no, it's beasts enough for abundant. Now think about this. If you put Lebanon all together, turn it into wood to burn a sacrifice to the Lord. To appease the wrath of God. Even 
Lebanon. Mukama gamba ne Lebanoni put together. Bo mukunganya yena as wood. No mukunganya ngenku. That wood is not enough. Enkwezo tezimala even the beasts. Nensoroze ezili mu Lebanon. Lebanon. Ezili mu Lebanon. Enough for a sacrifice. Tezimala kubela chiwebwa yo elikatonda. Aha. Mukama yebaziwe. Amen. Mukama wa femukuru. God is great. Katonda wa femukuru. So he continues to say that these nations are nothing. Are counted as nothing. Nothing. Where are they? We've seen president. We've seen kings. Emperors. We have seen generals. We have seen field marshals. They are now dust. Hallelujah. Take comfort. Take comfort. We have seen wealthy people. Wealth people. Wicked men. Men and women who have done atrocities. They come and go. Again as we go back to verse 6. All flesh is grass and all its beauty is like the flower of the tree. All flesh is grass and all its beauty is like the flower of the tree. Therefore, there is no power or realm where God doesn't rule. And that gives me more comfort. God is mighty. And lastly, God is mighty to save. And all things are under his control. Take comfort. God is incomparable. There are some people who want to compare God. No, I can compare myself to my brother. Stop comparing God with anything. He's a jealousy God. He's in charge. Uh, fuga. Listen to what the word of God says. From verse 18. To whom then will you liken me? Or what likeness compare with me? An idol. That is an exclamation, you know, Mark. An idol. A craftsman casts it. And a goldsmith overlays it with gold. And casts for it silver chains. He who is too impoverished for an offering. Mm. Chooses wood that will not rot. He seeks out a skillful craftsman. To set up an idol that will not rot. Then you carry it around. And then you say, this is our God. Not and then you, 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 you brush it on your teeth. Part of it, you make a chuckle for <laughs> And then one becomes your God. Don't try to compare God with anyone or anything. 
Don't make an idol. Make an idol is one of the madness that somebody can be in. Make an idol using the created things and making a God out of them. Setting them up for worship. Man tries to make idols. Don't, that would disappoint you. If you want to be frustrated with it is a disappointment. Brothers and sisters, to whom can we compare our God? We are here to comfort you from the word of God. The Savior is one. He says, I am the way. The truth. And the life. Don't compare me to anyone. Because I hear people who say there are many ways to get to heaven. There are many ways to get to heaven. Jesus says Yes Agamba don't even compare me to any other way. Don't compare me to any other land. Don't compare me to any other land. Jesus says is the exclusive He's truth is the exclusive. His life is exclusive. Life. Take comfort. Today. He rules. Yes, He's the chief shepherd. He's mighty to save. Yes, He's made it to save. Yes, Don't compare him to Tom May the good Lord bless you. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you. Your word is true. Thank you for speaking to us. And thank you for enabling us to speak. to speak. What a relief for us. That this word has been spoken. Because it was burning in us. Now it is out. May your spirit cause it to bring back fruit. Because you say in your word. Your word never goes out and returns we thank you as you bless your people as you comfort your people in Jesus name Amen. Amen. Amen We thank the Lord so much for the privilege of listening to his word this morning that has been a blessing to us to take comfort in our Lord and if we take comfort in our Lord, we acknowledge that he rules and that he is a shepherd and that he's, a, he's mighty to save. Amen. 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 We thank the Lord so much for this opportunity he has given us to worship. Our last song we are going to sing is going to be Lion of Judah. We take refuge in the arms of the Lion of Judah. And that is Jesus Christ, our King. Amen. 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 Amen.